Hi guys, editing tag J here, and I wanted to say that at the end you get to see all the final damages of the Unawakened Doe. So please watch the end, remember to like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, today I'll be doing an Unawakened Doe review. So there is an Awakened version, and it's very overpowered. But this one, yeah, it's not as overpowered as you think. But it does have potential for VBP, of course. But not many people use it. So, the first ability you get is called Fried Dough. With that, when you use it, you get your hand becomes bigger. You wave it up and down, there's flame effects. And when shot, Flame effects come off, wow. launched, creating a weird, like, fried type sound before exploding. It is quite good. So if I get it from the side here. Very good. And I would... Yeah, it's definitely good for a first ability. As you can see, it can do lots. And then... Let's go on with this next ability. Okay, we got Sticky Dough. It's a hundred mastery. So, that's a lot. But, when holding down, you get like this web type dough. For some reason it's like made out of wood. And once launched, it'll grab the enemy, swing him up in the air, and smash him down onto the ground. It's um, a pretty okay ability, wouldn't really recommend it, but you can do it like this, grab it from behind, it's, yeah. It doesn't really have that much potential because the Awakened version is a lot better with it, but it does work. Time to get on to the next ability. Okay, we've got the next ability called Carved Dough. So, when I hold it down, you go into a bigger ball, and when they, when released, your hand becomes a spike and um, launches down on the ground, lifting people up into the air. And it doesn't swing you around, but if um, you're holding it for too long, it will automatically do it for you. And it is pretty good, definitely good for damage. It, I believe it does around 400k with 301 mastery and max stats and blocks roots. So, yeah, I would definitely say it's got nice PvP potential in there for that ability and combo potential, pretty good. So, let's get on with Restless Boat Doe Barrage. Okay, we got Restless Doe Barrage. It is the last move at 300 mastery. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So when press it down, you summon a bunch of fists from a portal dough. And you can move your mouse around. And it will capture enemies inside of the barrage. And then, yeah, I would say it, it is really good for potential. So you can sticky dough them and quickly cut um Curve dough before going to an instant red list dough barrage so that you can move your thing around. And at 50 mastery, you got roller donut, which is just what it is. You become a donut and start rolling around. It is definitely quite useful to getting around and. Yeah, that's really it for the roll of dough. So let's get on to killing some NPCs to show the damage. So we're here at Greek Tree and let's test fried dough, shall we? So when holding it down, of course, when used, 3510 damage. It's not much. But it does pretty decent damage. 
Then next you got sticky dough. I'm hoping for this one to be good. So it's this one again. Where it does like a string. Very good. So you can warp them. And it will launch them. Doing 4064 damage. It's pretty neat. For some damage. And you could probably do some nice combos. Like I said. Now you got carved dough. Let's test it. So it of course turns you into a big ball. When launched at an enemy, you can see it will launch them up in the air, doing decent damage. And yeah, you can tell when someone's using it because this is the normal size. It's not as big as the carved dough, so it does around a whopping 4,433 damage. And yeah, it does a lot of damage. Definitely for dough, it's very neat. Now, sh let's try Reckless Dough Barrage. Okay, we've got my little test dummy over here. I think he's going to enjoy it. Whoa, look at that damage! 7,019 damage! That is actually quite a whopping a lot of damage. So, would I recommend Doe? Yes. Definitely for the Awakened version, I would say yes. The Unawakened, it's got a nice PvP potential and a combo potential. But for damage, it's not that good. So, I would not say to get the Doe for the normal abilities. I would say to get it for the Awakened and... Yeah, I think it's pretty good and all of that is settled. And hope you have a great day or night. And thank you for watching this showcase. Please remember to like and subscribe. Bye.